Hello everyone, I'm the Hero of Lead, joined here with my beautiful wife. Hello. And we're coming after another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake on the Switch. In the last episode, we discovered that a lot of Pirate's Grotto is just hallways the game. Yeah. And uh, we found the fourth and final curse chest. We're not going to get cursed by a black chest anymore. Oh, we're not? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, thank God, they were starting to get old. Yeah, Mario was sick of it, so he's just like, just do your thing. In this episode, you might be wondering where we are. I remembered something about a waterfall hidden somewhere with had something behind it. And here it is, a Defend Plus P badge, which will give our partners one plus defense. Probably not going to put it... Oh, I, mean, I haven't utilized the new badge points I got either. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, back. Alright, so I put uh, Damage Dodge back on, and I also put Pretty Lucky just as a little filler badge. Uh, anyway. We are behind a waterfall. And to show you where the waterfall is. This one right here. In this room. We could have gone this way when we first did this, but I didn't realize and thought it was the other waterfall over here from the skull, but it wasn't. Whee! Fall back down here. Go this way. And we pretty much got all the collectibles in the place here, unless you care about, like, a mushroom or something. Which I don't. I don't really care to get all the hidden blocks. And now we're in this room. Now, you're going to want to dodge these waves. They'll push you back. And just keep on dodging them. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. Ooh! Okay. And we've gotten past the waves! It's a barrel. And a barrel. And the puppy's already throwing toys again. <laughs> hey, something's coming there, floating on the water. Is that the rest of the toads? Did we lose that much of a crew? Did we really have that many crew to begin with? I, I don't think so. Is that a is that a boat? Hey, over here! Hey, save us, please! What now? Where do all y'all think you gonna go getting on a paper boat? Well, they're all paper. They just I carry seven partners in my pocket. Why not carry them? That's true. I guess you got some deep pockets. I'm seeing some pipe puzzle here. What is that? Well, that was pointless. It made out of paper. I can't breathe here. Huge disappointment. Rude, y'all. Mario! <laughs> okay, let's just go through this pipe. This is the only thing we can do. Oh, dang. Is this the boat that we need? No, it's just gonna teeter-totter. And... Here we go. This. Ah, I see. Okay. We'll go in here. And we'll have to airplane to the... There. Whoops. <clears throat> Went a bit too far, I guess. Oh, well. Blue fire! Thank you. <coughs> Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to jump down from this one and to try to do the thing again. <laughs> Our, uh, puppy's being needy. She's trying to smother me in kisses. She's a very lovey dog. She is. Got it. He's the happiest little puppy. Yes, he is. More barrels! Hey, we can cross over now! Oh. 
She got my glasses. Did she lick them? She licked my glasses. <laughs> you need to take a moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, 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 what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's only the bottom corner. I can still see it. <laughs> Oh, those two. Oh, they must have come on a different trip. Yeah, that's not your boat. That's the boat they left on. Alright. Now let's use this once again to even get further. Pretty good at this now since I played the Pianta game off screen. Oh, hello. It's oh. your turn. Ah. <laughs> ah. No, that's my eyeball. <laughs> It's your turn for kisses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ugh. Good. Yeah, she's good now. <laughs> I think anyway. She just had to give you a little kisses. That's all. <laughs> Blue bird. You couldn't make the jump. Blue bird. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well. What are the honeymooners doing with you getting look, looking for pirate treasure? Our ship got surrounded by ghosts and on the ocean out on the ocean and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little took too close to this island and now look at us. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's time for puppy kisses again. <laughs> Puppy's time again. <clears throat> Do you have something to say, honey? <laughs> you can't go that way. Do you have something to say, honey? Oh, I guess you can. <laughs> no? Okay. Come Careful, she, she has <laughs> the ability to hit the mute button. <laughs> she did it before. <laughs> has she? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not like during recording, but she's done it. Oh. <laughs> Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. <clears throat> hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. Nah. Coincidence. What? There's a crystal star in the pirate's treasure? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft. So smack him up for me. Who? The Pirate King. Cortez. <laughs> and now I'm gonna switch up my badges, because I don't need ice power, and I don't need ice smash. Oh, I had the other ice smash. Oh, no. Give me another second to deal with these. I'll just show this here. Yep. All right, so I took off ice power and... Um, Ice Smash, and I put on Flower Saver, because why not? It's always good that things are a little bit cheaper to use. And let's go onwards. Boo! whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path and finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am, and so is Grotus. So you're not even gonna just... Whoa, sorry, did I say that? Forget it. It's just wait here so I didn't... Don't get in the way. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, okay. What's at this little save thingy? Seems... We're really just gonna continue to pretend, like, really? Apparently. <clears throat> Set this up to fully heal ourselves for 12 points. You know, if he steals the crystal star from you later on, it's your own fault. Alright. Set him here. Inside the door and be lost in darkness. Oh, is uh, is he supposed to be scary or just a broody teenager? It's Crystal Star. Come into my. 
Ooh, <laughs> that was good timing, little bean. <laughs> Enough. I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. <laughs> I am a pirate blast it. Pirates do not moan. Then why were you? I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. Then why were you pretending? <clears throat> and you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here, Habla? Speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo! This is the boss of Chapter Five. That's skull. Pirate King Cortez. Oh! He's not quite a skull. It's a pile of bones. Oh, we're electrified. I don't think that's gonna help us in this fight, but cool. All right, Goombella, tell us what we're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, my guy has three swords and a hook hand. Electrified ain't going to do shit. That's Cortez. He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts this island. Haunts the island, sorry. Max HP is 20, attack is 4, and defense is 1. His HP may seem low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's, a, he's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later, he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some internal rest. Alright! Let's start off with a 1 FP spin jump, thanks to Flower Saber. Oh, it's all misty. How is he gonna attack? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ivy, now is not the time for kisses! It's boss fight time! <laughs> okay. Come here, honey. I'm thinking... a power lift. Come on. Come here. Go see. Come here. He says, no, I want to stay up with Daddy. Okay, I have to emotional support him. Yeah. Alright, just don't. <laughs> you, you go help Daddy. <laughs> Ooh. Why would you do that? I didn't mean to. Alright, I got plus four attack and plus three defense. Basically invincible. <laughs> I have a baby. <laughs> he growled at you. Okay, let's see if I can get multi bonk going good. I missed because of the miss. He missed because of the miss, too. This miss is getting annoying. It's not going well for him, is it? Yeah. Ooh, I just took him out one go. Wait, we didn't even get to see him attack? Phase two! Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, that's fucking lame. We didn't even see him do nothing. Does he have a different tattle? No, I guess not. So is this, what are we on, chapter five? Yep. So this is kind of like the original paper, like the original chapter five where he had two different phases of the, of the lava product. Uh, yeah, sure, two phases. Oh, is there multiple? Phase three! It's just a head and some weapons. Oh, we're all unboosted. Oh, all the Why weapons. Why do you have to fight all the weapons? Yes, you do. And a good way to get these weapons gone is Flurry. We can just blow Flurry's away. Gale Force will blow these away. <laughs> Now we're just left with Cortez's head. This would probably be much more difficult if I didn't do a power. Uh... 
Because they didn't do a power rush or uh, the power lift to get absolutely ridiculous attack and defense. Yeah, I was gonna say this fight is kind of lame because you're, he's not actually doing anything to you. Yeah, it's actually considered one of the better fights in the game, but um, I broke it with power lift and then there was Misty, so he was missing and now he's freaking frozen. Yeah, it kind of sucks, honestly. Like, I mean, even if you kind of like overpower yourself, like some of the tougher fights. In the original, they're still pretty tough, even if you over... Some of the fights, if you do it right, you can one-shot the bosses. I mean, not Huff and Puff. Yeah, you can. This is one you of the can very one-shot easy... Huff and Yes. Puff. How can you one-shot Huff and Puff? All in on damage. Peril Mario, power bounce with, um, Doesn't he have, Watts like, up. 70 HP? You can't one-shot He has 60 HP. HP. You can't. You can't do one shot fucking 60 HP. There's no way. No, I made that really boring by using power. Yeah, lift. It, it sucked. I apologize. Maybe I should ban power lift from my run. That's supposed to be one of the best bosses in the game. I mean, so far, like. All these bosses kind of suck. But I also haven't seen, like, I didn't get to see him do anything. Huh? Well, now he's tiny. I am done for. Yo ho 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 ho! That's stupido! I think that's how you pronounce that? Yeah. You are foolish indeed, for I am not dead. Well, technically, I was already dead, but my. S. I'm assuming he's speaking Spanish. Endures tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Can I have it? <laughs> then why are you here? Can I have it? Huh? Hey, Sirio, you want this? Oh, yeah. This little rock over here. Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's that's his whole thing. He's like, you just want this? Here, have it. I don't want it. You got a crystal star! Your star power is now six, and Mario learned the special move, Sweet Feast. Yeah. I believe that's like sweet treat, but a lot better. Not for long, because we have a traitor on the island who's just gonna come in and take it, because nobody would do anything about it. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> bueno, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you. Oh, he's gonna kick out the window? And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. And Mario said he didn't want it. <laughs> Kick this out. Wow. Like a hidden block somewhere here. <laughs> I just want to say I love how there's chomps in the water. <laughs> Oh, we got a blue fern back. Yeah. Blue fern! Can you make that? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. How was my HP doing? It wasn't even hit. Because of everything oh, that lined up perfectly for the boss fight. It was fucking boring. I feel really bad about it. It was that boring. Now, actually. It was very boring. It's supposed to be one of the funnest boss fights. It was lame. Oh, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? 
No, it wasn't. Earthquake. He didn't even fight. No, he didn't, he didn't do a damn thing. He was lamer than the dragon that was brought down by me. It sounded like a frog. Yahoo, you beat Cortez. Wow, you really something. I think I'll, like, show you this fight, like, these fights without using power lifts in the future. I mean, like, compare, I, I mean, you can't go from, like, especially Huff and Puff, because I have seen so many people saying that as a child, or, like, when they were playing this, like, when they played Paper Mario for the first time, that Huff and Puff gave them such a hard time. You can't go from Huff and Puff, the Crystal King, the Lava Piranha, to that and expect it to, like, be cooler. Because it was not. If you got time to be impressed by heroics, you got time to think of a way out of here. Um. All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape, I guess. That's how much... Cookies! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give us a minute. Okay. Alright, sorry, back. Cookie, cookies are ready to be put in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? A breeze? How are we gonna bust through solid rock, though? Bobbery. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Bobbery. Whoops. This wasn't clo Ugh, close enough. It worked just like I said. Well, me first. Okay, bye. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Maybe I need they to don't even know too. what's on the other side of that wall. Could be danger. I think it's just another wall. Oh, it's right here. Sweet. Oh, seriously. Whack a hoe, direct hit. Animal abuse. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't think you need a random drink, but okay. All right. So I guess we'll go back to base camp and see. Dear God. Uh, okay. Got anything to say? I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave, but the whole thing was rather exciting. You got anything to say, Frankie? <laughs> I'm just glad my little dame is safe and sound. Oh, you got something to say? I need to get back to Rogueport where my brother is waiting. <clears throat> ah, Mario, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was gone in the treasure. And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Yep. Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Ah, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? B brother? You don't need to go to Rogueport after all. Your brother's right here. You? What are you doing here? I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island, I came looking. But ghosts attacked us, and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too, so you're all... Oh, wait, that's Toad. I thought that was Bobbery talking. Stand here as well. Hold on, huh? What was that? Ah, what is that? Pardon me, guys. Buh, huh? I mean, buh, 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 huh? Buh, huh, 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 huh? So sorry to surprise you. No way. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star! Oh yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me! Boy now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes! It's dangerous up there! 
What's with the lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... B -b 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 the Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you! Oh, I never would have guessed! I was the mastermind in the shadows, ru ruining this void or running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Yep. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. You realize I have five of them, right? You should ask me for all of them, not just one. He's playing Go Fish, Tristan. He's gonna ask for one first. Because you know what will happen if you don't? Starboard cannons! Poor cannons! Fire, fire, fire! I only see one cannon, and it's not neither on the starboard or port side. He's a dumbass! Do you really expect him to know boats? Ah, yikes! Four eyes was a pirate all this time! Madness! Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait! I have it! I'm a genius! We have a ship at hand! And a fine one, I must say! Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship! If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship! Flavio, what are you talking about? There's no way that'll work! This is Cortez, the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you! Cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. You must at least try, Cortez! I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. I mean, I thought he was pretty okay. He's actually kind of a chill dude. Yeah. You guys gotta get out of my way. I like him better than you. Yeah. I just wish the fight wasn't so boring. <laughs> yeah, I guess it just shouldn't use power lift for bosses anymore, because it also trivialized... I, I would actually like to see them. It kind of trivialized Dupless, too. I didn't, well, I didn't like him. I didn't care for that pretty old fast. Alright, so talk to Cortez. For a second, and then he grew back again. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, what? It's I, I you got, again? Did you forget something? I got excited about cookies, and you know, I, I forgot everything after that. <laughs> Cortez, I, I have to speak to you. C could you lend me a sh ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M -m -m my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for a teensy little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent this ship for my pleasure for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is Magica. And it cannot move now. Give us that. It is Magica. And cannot move now. The key to powering this ship is the mystical skull gem. The skull gem? You you mean this? You you have the skull gem? Uh yes yes I do. So all right, what do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that's a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock! You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Wait, just a moment. Do you make... Do not make me have Mario trounce you again! While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? 
You rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. <laughs> bueno, that. I'm sorry. I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what he's saying. And I assume it's Spanish. It was. It's not French. Fine, take it. I accept your bargain. Now, be very careful with that gem. Ah, check the check in mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiations, no. You can take your way talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Isn't he a pirate? No, he's a trade merchant. No. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all, but for now, we sail! Oh yeah! He saved us all! I mean, if he didn't have that, Cortez wouldn't be able to help us. Okay. Where did he go? Don't know. Oh, Everyone's already all... on the ship. What the heck? Hey, we're coming too. Let's take them. Come on. All for one, guys. Boy, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants all the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. Who needs sails when you have the spirits of the dead? I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss of boom? You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. You just plowed through the mountain and it's ripped like paper. When did this come out? 2004? So. Is the Black Skull kind of supposed to be like a play on the Black Pearl? Because the Pirates of the Caribbean came out the year before. Probably. But also, I'm pretty sure the Black Pearl is based on some pirate story ship anyway. That's true. Now see, really them like are port and starboard cannons. I just really like... Oh, they do have port and starboard the cannons. So. No, you like Johnny Depp. I also like Pirates of the Caribbean. Girl, I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. That's the sign that the cookies are now, um... To be eaten. They're, they're, they've cooled off. Yeah, I can eat them now. So you wanna go get the cookies? Yes. <laughs> Give us a second. Yeah. All right, we're back with the cookies now, so this should be no more. I am junk sorry. Cuts. I'm sorry, but my neurodivergent brain went cookies, and I just I wanted cookies. <laughs> yeah, it looks so, like the puppy wants cookies too. Yes, <laughs> we are two of a kind. Her and I. <laughs> All the x knots and spirits are jumping back and forth. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. Oh, we actually have a little fight with him. I didn't really about that. I apologize for the interruptions. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. <laughs> Enjoy. Can't flee this fight. There's gonna have HP going. Why are the other ones just like in a pyramid in front of you? Don't know. Let's have Goombella tell us all about it. Yeah, I, I want to know about the pyramid of uh, of dudes. That's an x not platoon. Crump commands them all. Where'd they come from? Their max HP depends on the condition, but attack is 5 and defense is 0. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. 
but they're pretty wimpy, so we shouldn't be able. To, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? I would say we shouldn't be able to handle it, but yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, gone in one go. Next attack plus. Oh, he just called more. Well, tell us what we're working with in the back. We have fought him once before in Magnus Von Grapple and in the very first fight in the game. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're gonna... They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump! Crump. Okay. Ooh! Umbrella! You mean to tell me his chonky ass just jumped on her and it only did one damage? She has a damage dodge on. Well, I still find that hard to believe. He does three damage. My chunky ass jumped on someone. <laughs> I think I'll have, have me one of these cookies. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Okay. We don't really have the need to show off Sweet Beast yet. We'll just take out the Xnox group, because they did the more damage. And let's see if I can finally pull off a freaking multi-bonk. Have a cookie, it might make you feel better. <laughs> In fact, that multi bonk did worse than the normal jump because the second attack did one instead of two. So that's <laughs> how power bouncing multi bonk work. Uh. Get Blueford out of here and more to <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easy, losers. Let's see how you like this. X knots! What, what are you doing? What the heck? Uh... <laughs> Tackle enemies on the ground and ceiling! Well, there you go! Earthquake! The sail falling over took him out. Mario has two damage dodges, so Floor Crump isn't doing anything to him. I don't even need to bring Blueford out. I was gonna bring Blueford because he does more damage, but Goombella can finish this. Do it, girly! Good. I thought I was already aced for a second there. You haven't finished me off yet. You see, urchins, I'm down, but no way I'm out. Am I gonna have to tattle the X Knots army? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. No, it's already tattled, I guess. Like the shy guys. The shy guys were cuter though. Can you finish this off, Boombella? <laughs> he just disappears and then reappears with the jump. <laughs> Alright, how much HP did you get back? Okay, maybe I should focus my efforts on Crump. Uh, yeah, he keeps calling him! Let's ice storm them. See she if they told you that. See if they freeze. You should have. You should have earth tremored. That would have been hilarious because they all get jostled around, and there's just like a crowd of them. Well, they didn't freeze yet, so I got another turn to do it. 
That's ridiculous. That was a lot of damage, too. I'm guarding, and Goombella and Mario are still taking, like, three and two damage. Looks like we had some audience members leave. Alright, you want to see Earth Tremor on these yes, guys? Yes! <laughs> Very much so. Alright, don't fuck up wireless. Building that anticipation. All right. Oh, they all jump as one. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, a little bit. And then Bella, why don't you use up some of my items here? Here's a fire flower. Oh, so Gumbella is allowed to use the good shit, and I'm not. What is a fire flower a good <laughs> shit? It only has three damage. How many are there? Apparently until we take them out. <laughs> what? Oh, no, hit me with the bone! No bone! <laughs> All right, he's almost gone. That Earth Fever was very disappointing. Oh, Bella! Ooh, oh, okay. Thanks for fixing that before it actually did anything. Alright, finish it off, Mario. There we go. Now, the way I played it, that kind of felt more like the boss. Yeah. <laughs> than anything. I swear Cortez is a better fight if you don't cheese it. Then again, all fights are better fights if you don't cheese them. Yeah. Man, this is getting old. How we... How could I lose again? I hate losing! Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Ugh. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Bye. Sorry, I'm eating cooking. Yay, we did it, Mario. We won't have to worry about that guy for a while. Yeah, here's the way to go. Yeah, coal's on me. Eat seaweed. Peach time! <laughs> you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought... We thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. <laughs> Then you're dismissed. Hey, you there. Hello. What is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. Oh, are we gonna see her see their see her sisters for the first time? Since I she... I have one of the three shadows. You got it, sir. This is the first time we're gonna have them run into us since we kidnapped their sister. We didn't kidnap her, we showed her kindness. <laughs> yeah. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Haha, <laughs> loser. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. Data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view old data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. 
Sir Grotus has, infor has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. <laughs> but how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there is a guard outside the room that permits no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Is that the only instruction? So far. No, oh, great. This music's way too cute for this area. This music fits perfectly for our little bean here. <laughs> She's laying on the bum extra thick. Yeah, she really wants some cookies. She really wants a cookie. You will first go in the opposite direction to Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Okay. I hope no one's around here. Still don't see that green lamp. It's another elevator. <laughs> now I have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. This is that machine in the back, put, but even I do not know which potion to set where. <laughs> there should be memos left in the room by the X-Not researchers. Please use them as reference and set the potions in the machine. Okay, we can have some fun with this, actually. <clears throat> Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay. Any other notes? Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Gee, that freaking narrows it down, don't it? Note, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Well, that's not hard to figure out. That gives you the code right there. But the red potion can't be in the far right. <coughs> so you put the red potion first. Oh, red, blue, green. No, red, blue, yellow, green. Right? There's another note over here. Yeah. Place the yellow potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Okay. So we got the right order. Yeah, so you do the red one first. We got a red potion. I can only take one at a time. Yeah. Exactly. Now, we can do this right, or we can have a little bit of fun with it. I'll do it wrong once. Why? By putting the red potion in the right. Just to show what happens. Well, you know what? At least we ain't got gourmet guy up here yelling at us and telling us we fucking suck. <clears throat> Alright. Go with this. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? To my liking, yes. Not Very well. to mine. Then press Q, then please Q the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Push. Oh, I'm gonna have to push these? Please press the button where the beaker stop to dispense each potion. You can see you got a little time limit there. Oh, going back. Oh, push the button. All 
Alright. I will heat the mixture mixed po potion for the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds oh, after God, the heating starts again. to stop the machine. Now please press the button to begin the heating oh, process. Oh God! All right, what are what are we at? Oh no, I've, I've mastered this at this point. Just go. Nice weather we're having. Timer said too. I told you. So. I am a pro at the bake on that cake. <laughs> by my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? No. Yeah, sure. Very good. Well, please drink it. All of it, if you please. <laughs> what? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. <laughs> please, you must drink it. It was made wrong. <gasps> Maybe. Peach is still just How unfortunate. Tall. It seems the potions were not placed in the correct position. Please do it again. Mini Peach is still just as tall as Mario. This can make her mini, it can make her giant, and I think there's a slew of other things it can do as well. Okay, so what was the right order again? Red over here. Red. Blue. Yellow. Green. Are you sure they're placed to your liking? Yes. Wait, no. Yes. Okay, I thought for some reason my eyes saw this one as yellow. Probably because of Peach's hair. I know what I'm doing. Then please cue the button <laughs> in the control room. We gotta do this again. I wanted to show the little goof. It's fine. It's almost the same pattern as the shy, as the the blocks in the shy guy. Please stop the box. button. Blah 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 blah. Splooch. Splooch. We're almost all gone anyway. There's only two left. Well, I didn't make the whole box. Oh. But I don't currently want more, but she wants more, and I don't think, I, it's, I already shared a cookie with her, and I think it's a good idea for her to have more cookie. Alright, you ready to do another 30 seconds? seemed like it was off from mine. I think you made me laugh and it fucking messed me up. Let's try it. I'm, tr I'm trusting myself. Well. <clears throat> hey, it worked. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait. I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, locate the disc with the re rec recorded data, then connect it to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. Once you are finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. Yeah, we get to play as Naked Peach! There are little baby... 
baby's present. What? Oh, that was creepy. Where did that door open even? Why did that door open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Okay, where's Grotus's room? It won't open. Drat, this must be the wrong place. Can I talk to this dude? No? Oh, okay. Can I bump people? <laughs> They'll go, what? It seems there's different garden varieties of X-Nots. Like the spy music. Where's the guard? We're on Sir Grotus's room yet. Oh, I thought that was his room. Oh, the guard is that weird ass fucking thing. <laughs> this must be Grotus's room now. Where is that disc? Oh, look at the carpet. <laughs> at least I assume it's a carpet. Not here. Found it. This must be it. Got a data disc. Where are you putting that disc? Then please insert that disc into the computer in this room and connect it to the network. All right. Data disc. I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! Now what? Mm -hmm. Just waiting for it to upload, I guess. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There. Like I was never here. Get out of here. I'm back to the lab, I guess. Everyone's just confused as crap. <laughs> what? I like the little stim stamps. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like Squidward, but not yeah. really. It's a little off. A little off from the Squidward walk. <laughs> Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. It will revert the normal. It will revert you to normal instantaneously. Um. Can you put your dress on first? I don't know where she put it. Just hang on one minute. Nah, she's going to get it. Peach ain't that stupid. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Okay, but there's a lot of guards out there last I checked. You're kind of suspicious that they'll just kind of disappear all immediately. <clears throat> Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay. You'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. Good job, Peach. I've written my message. Would you send it? <laughs> the message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. I'm being fair cookie, hold on. <laughs> it's the last one, so you can share it. Princess Peach, I will protect you. It's a little ominous. Bowser time!
<laughs> Twilight Town! Crump! <clears throat> what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's on because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it! <laughs> crystal star? I have no idea. Really, p p please spare me. <laughs> Haven't they been through enough? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, none of you are any help. Oh, cursed back sprite of Bowser. <laughs> cursed back sprite. Apparently Bowser can jump too. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Oh, he didn't do it. <coughs> now I'm told. You okay? I can't. Uh, 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 uh. I'm pretty sure Velvet <laughs> said she lost a super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop! Ah, diggity dog! Buh, 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 ha, ha. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me! You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Huh? Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet! Then I'll help the crump. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of information out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show them to you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no wait, what am I afraid of, you? If you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. All troops, report! <laughs> b -b -b -h -h -h. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like taking yet? You're talking yet? <coughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! <laughs> it's a war in Twilight Town. Are we actually gonna fight? Whoa, well played! No. Oh. <laughs> so that. So what's it going to be, tough guy? Oh, I got a laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dolts. Super ba bomb Incoming! <laughs> huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> This is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. Yeah. <clears throat> Kaboom. Twilight Town's now probably a crater. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle. Excelente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. <clears throat> ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody! I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is for... is all the treasure I need, for real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. 
We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay too. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, huh? I'm sure they'll all be just fine here. Let's go, Mario. Preparandos, amigos, cast off. I wish I would have remembered he was Spanish when I first talked as him. Back to Rogueport, I guess. Month Star Day Circle Heart. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly on the on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close the journey. Do you not like my Flavio voice? My, my, my puppy got up with me. To all who wander the sea, Flavio's blessing upon you. We're almost done recording. Almost. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, Sweet Rogueport. I assume that was Flavio. Of course, it's only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps cha change will bring us all chance will bring us all together again someday. <coughs> What? Hey, where are you? You're all leaving already? Ah, uh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your adventure also, eh? Huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should... How you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If ever you should... Un, un momento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Keel Hall Key, just say the word, see? I will send you to the... Is... Isla? Isla? Isla faster than the fastest winds can blow. Y yes, yes, you giant skull, you, your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem! <laughs> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Please. Well, Mario, we probably ought to go too, don't you think? Let's go to that dock. Hey, Luigi's just right over there with a daisy! And, uh, yeah. Cortez just kind of chills in the Rogueport Harbor for the rest of the game. <laughs> and he'll take you to Keel Hall Key whenever you want. And that's gonna be it for this episode, because now that we can turn into a boat and have Bobbery, a lot of collectibles have opened up to us. Oh, yeah! gonna be like at least two episodes of cleanup oh. probably at minimum anyway make sure to subscribe to catch when i do that because that's the most helpful part of these you know finding all the collectibles and shit um like and subscribe or like and comment if you so please subscribe too if you like as well and check out my other videos if you enjoy me of course you didn't have to watch the thousand year door videos if you enjoy the sound of my wife i doubt that but <laughs> and uh yeah and that's going to be it for this episode. Any... How you feel about Chapter 5, besides the fact that I fucked up the Cortez fight? It wasn't great. It's a good story. I like the story of Admiral Bobbery. Yeah. But the rest of it was kind of boring. Yeah, going back and forth between the Keel Hall Key area is really yeah. draining. Then... Pirate's Grotto is just hallways and hallways and hallways. And, like, everybody, that's, like, the common complaint I see with a lot of people with Chapter 6 uh, on the original is that they don't like it because it's so much back and forth. Um, 
I prefer... I still wouldn't say this chapter had as much back and forth as chapter 6 in the original does. I would rather play Flower Fields than, than this chapter. But I like Flower Fields, so I guess I'm a weirdo. <laughs> no, if you remember, Chuck Conroy likes it too, but... I don't like Flower Fields. I, like I find it a very boring... It, the, the place puts me to sleep. I like Flower Fields. But this isn't Flower Fields, this is Rogue Port in the <laughs> next game. Anyway, see you next time when we pick up some shit on the floor. Bye. See ya.